Super Idol the Charo, they'll make me do ten by each one for the Why going viral ruined my life overnight. Oh boy. And I watched their face light up as they saw me. Yeah. And it was like, it was honestly a change of perspective on all of it. Going viral online, an objective that stems from almost a newborn child, all the way up until someone close to being on their deathbed. And then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like a- The constant idea the that millions around the world can see your creation, it gets people excited, which causes everyone to want to go viral online. And me, myself, I was able to do that. Same, kinda-ish. Avery, look at that. But how would it ruin your life? Same. Ever since a young age, I always had the urge to want to entertain others. No matter who I was with or where I was, I just always had the urge to want to make people laugh. Are you okay? Yeah. So what? Naturally, it led me to start making YouTube videos. And <laughs> I don't know what the hell he said. Ooh, okay, damn. And streaming on platforms like Twitch. And I would do absolutely anything to try and make people laugh. You ready? This is literally it is the same shit I did. This is literally... I think every kid tried to do this shit low-key back in the day. Especially, like, um... When Minecraft was, like, big and everyone tried to be, like, a Minecraft YouTuber and shit. Oh my gosh, I made, like, so many Let's Plays. Those are the days. What are you doing, step bro? I never gained any traction to any of these videos, usually averaging 100 views on YouTube and maybe four viewers on Twitch, if that. Yup. Yeah. Then that I mean, that's pretty much me right now. I, I mean, at least he, you know, it, it kind of, he kind of went somewhere if that. I, I, I didn't really. <laughs> I mean, besides TikTok, but like, I don't really. When I look at TikTok, it's kind of like, uh, you know, it, it's really easy to go viral on there, let's just say that. Um, <laughs> For real, for real. I, I look at YouTube very differently. YouTube and Twitch way harder. Seems more real, you know? That was until April 27th, 2023, when I posted this video. Bro, we do the thug shake. The what shake? Do the thug shake. What's that? The thug shake. I don't know what that is. Instantly, the video had skyrocketed and was almost everywhere. What? From it being posted everywhere on Twitter to even bigger content creators reacting to the video, you pretty much couldn't escape it, no matter how hard you tried. Bro, and do the thug shake. Can't escape your head either. I'm playing, I'm playing. I, well, actually, I can't, because they posted... I thought it was, like, you know, like, low-key, because they were posting a space, like, a shit ton of time. I'm like, what the fuck? I don't even get... Uh, is it? Is this the funny? Is this the funny? Roll into thug shake? Oh. Oh. Okay, it's the thug shake guy. I'm out of here. <laughs> this video got 20 million views on Instagram. Is that the fucking Roblox dance? Right? Is that the point? So is it is it supposed to be funny? I'm actually genuinely like curious, you know, because I, you know, like I'm hip, but like I I don't. Is it supposed to be funny? What's the funny? Where the funny? You know, I mean, even nowadays they're not even funny anymore. Gen Alpha kind of ruined everything. They're barely even born. They're, like, they're barely even here yet, bro. They already ruined it. And how did I react to all this attention? Pretty amazingly, if I'm being honest, I posted another video. And then another one, and another one, and another one. And they all happened to do pretty well. Although I was just making fun of myself, I loved doing it because I loved entertaining people. Because although I was... And then another one, and another one, and another Stop one. Stop flashing. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's like, um, both. So thug shake and then the okay yeah it makes and sense. they all happen to do pretty well. Although I was just making fun of myself, I loved doing it because I loved entertaining people. Because of these videos, I was able to meet some pretty cool. Smart. Uh, hi, holy fuck! Can you do the thug shake? <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, we'll come. What the fuck happened to your hairline? You can't meet a person for the first time and ask them what the fuck is wrong with you. Like goddamn. Damn, bro, why you look like that? <laughs> like, holy shit. <laughs> That's rude oh, as hell. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to chat. Just That's that insane. Fully aware that it's not a filter. <laughs> That's insane. So I keep posting to show people that just be yourself. Like, right. there's no reason you should be upset about something you can't change, right? Facts. And everywhere I go, people seem to know who I was. Or if I just so happened to be outside of a shopper's drug mart at, like, 1 in the morning. 
People knew who I was, <laughs> and this was it. My dream came true. I was finally a content creator. So why why was going viral bad? Damn, he went to the cons too. No matter what day it was or what was supposed to happen that day, I could always guarantee five things. I would wake up, I would make a video, I would edit the video, I would post the video, and then I'd think of the video for the next day. Posting every day, it simply just led to hundreds of videos on my account. That's that's my life. That's been my life for like six years now. Yep. Whether it was on YouTube, my meme page on Instagram that got banned, or in all the other meme page on Instagram that got banned. <laughs> but um, and then TikTok and then like Instagram, either or, I, I post a video once a day. Doesn't matter which platform. I can be gone from TikTok for like a whole week, but I'll still be like posting and editing shit every day. Low key. Like, yeah. It, it's never ending. It don't stop. Um... Unless you get like in the one percent, you know you can chill, you know. For real, for real, you don't gotta. Yeah, like once you like cost or not, you know you don't gotta be posting every day. I mean, you can like go on streaming and shit, obviously, and like you know, don't stop the the movement, right? The motion. But um, a lot of people, yeah, they chill out because they don't they don't need to. They're already at the top. Just having the ability to make people laugh on the daily and knowing you succeeded in that is honestly amazing. When I was younger, my grandfather told me a quote that stuck with me for most of my life. In his words, he said, I would be impressed if you made a million dollars, but I would be most impressed if you make a million people laugh. I really hope that even though he doesn't really understand the internet stuff, I really hope that he knows that I was able to succeed and I really hope. And I'm just really happy that I was able to make him proud. But in every content creator's career, there comes a time called the fall off. Yeah, I I'm in that moment right now. I mean, it's out of my hands, low key. Well, I, I pretty much got like suspended on TikTok like four times. Came back all four times. It's probably a bad thing. I probably should have just made a new account, low key. Like, because a lot of big people, um, a lot of my friends um, on TikTok. Got like more followers than me and shit, but they also like they got their like first accounts banned and shit, and they made new accounts. That's that's probably what I should have done. Um, but I'm trying to stay on this fucking account. I'm trying to um bring it back, cause they shadow banned my ass bad, bro. Like they did it bad. But then I also because of that I I went to YouTube, and I <laughs> got like one K subs, and now I'm back on uh TikTok trying to post like daily again. So yeah, honestly. Kind of don't regret leave. I mean, I didn't really leave. Like, I was still posting, but, like, wasn't as active. But, yeah, I'd rather have a foundation on, like, multiple sites instead of just TikTok. So, it's kind of a, a little necessary, you know? A little necessary. Chill, you know, chill back. I'd spend hours trying to find a niche or a trend that I could take and merge into somehow showing my forehead for some reason. But <laughs> you know what? To be honest with you. I can see it. I do look like Shaq. No matter what. <laughs> but, but he honestly doesn't have to. I don't know why he spent hours looking for like trends and shit. You, you don't have to do that. I didn't spend hours doing shit. I mean, well, it just comes to me naturally. Especially because I was a meme page. I got like memes in my mind like 24-7. So I just always have ideas and shit. But really, if you got a TikTok account... And you're you're on a for you page and shit. You're you're pretty much in like a certain niche of like a, like a group of people, and so you're always getting trends on your for you page. So like, I'm getting like I don't know like sounds on my account. You know like popular sounds. I just save those sounds or like trends, and I do them later. Yeah, that's pretty much. I don't have to go searching at all. It's, I I don't know why he's spending hours. <laughs> God damn. Unless because I mean I be making cap cut videos sometimes, but besides that, like you don't gotta be spending that much time on there for real for real. He. he I don't know what the hell he do. <laughs> the joke was I always had to spin back around to uh <laughs> sorry I forgot. I'm not I'm not doing this here, right? Hold on. There, that's a that's a, that's a bit better, isn't it? I take any niche that I could and flip it around and show my forehead. 
because that's the joke that people wanted and it's the joke that kept people entertained. It was amazing because all I was doing was making videos, something that I had done for years amongst every person that ever goes. Oh my God, wait, that was fall. That was four years ago? How old is he? Holy crap, bro, he was like 10 right there. Probably, young, probably younger, what the, oh my gosh, bro. You know, now, I mean, once you get like past 18, you know, the years just be going, you know? And so you see somebody that was like small as shit two years ago and then they just tall as fuck now. It, it's crazy, honestly. Viral, You're like, what the fuck happened? It's only been like two years. Slowly more and more, the videos stopped getting as many views as they used to. Yeah, and that that happened to me. Yeah, that happens. But also with me, I was fucking suspended, so it's even worse. <laughs> God damn, like my shit, I don't even get like 10k now. Um, shit, I, I I don't even think I be getting like 500 views, my boy. Shit's crazy. And no matter what joke I told, it just kind of wasn't funny. I started. But it's not. It, it's really not like the creator's fault. It's the how the algorithm is. The algorithm is actually like total dog shit. That's partially why I like spent a good year on um on YouTube last year because um yeah I was suspended but um yeah might as well put that ever in fucking YouTube and Instagram and shit because um and and Twitch because it TikTok I mean if they're just gonna keep so you you get pushed to the top and then they just slowly gradually they bring you all the way back down bro like nothing even happened. I see it happen to so many of my friends on TikTok, man. Most of them went to YouTube. Yeah, it, it's honestly, it's crazy. You can't, like, literally stay on TikTok. Unless you're in, like, the super, super 1%, you know? Motivation to post. I started, I don't know. Yeah. And I still did enjoy it. I loved making videos. But I hated the part where I had to make fun of myself. At first, it was True. funny because I was getting millions of views. I was making money, but it got to a point where it was like, man, I'm just making fun of myself. I had a girlfriend at the time, and she was the only person that I would ever tell this stuff to. No one else really knew how I truly felt about making videos at that time. I told everyone else that it was great and it was awesome, but truthfully, it wasn't. So after me and my girlfriend at the time talked about it constantly, she finally convinced me to stop posting. So in December, I stopped posting. I called it quits. I don't know if I regret it or if I'm happy I made the- No, it's a good thing because I mean, they're, they're gonna fuck with your account anyways on TikTok in terms of views and like viewership and stuff. Um, in that sense, he ain't do anything wrong. It's just, <laughs> it's, just I, I, it's like a, tr a, a wave, bro. It's like a wave. You gotta ride it out. You gotta write it out. And I think, like, overall, just stop posting 100%. That might be the way to go. Maybe I should have done that. Because I still posted, like, you know, the past year before I came back this year low-key. But, um, no, that's a good thing. Because in 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 sense, too, um, you know, if you're just making fun of yourself as y your content, it's not really gonna last, you know? And in terms of like you're you're making fun of yourself, so like your your mental health is gonna be fucked, bro. Like absolutely fucked, because that's the only thing you're known for. And um, yeah, that just kind of fucked how I said that, but it's the truth. Like it it's it's kind of fucked. It fucks with your mental health. Um, it fucks with your overall social presence because like I mean, it it's like low key, and it's pro it probably could be in part um like why he had a downfall i bet it happens to every tiktok person low-key but also it's just like what else do you have to offer low-key he's still funny though i think he has good content from what i saw and like replying to posts and stuff yeah that's a good way but uh yeah it, it's um i i know i know how he feels low-key <laughs> because i got stuck in like doing like cringy shit on tiktok which i still kind of low-key do because i i kind of don't really care anymore that's that's my thing i don't really care anymore now so I, I would just do whatever the fuck I want. But him, yeah, he cares. So yeah. The decision. I stopped posting, but still, no matter when I stopped posting, the only thing people in real life ever wanted to talk to me about was making videos and making content and everything. I'd always get asked the same question. It's always in this way exactly. How's the famous life? Months go by after December and eventually I'm starting to feel better. 
After taking a mental health break, I started posting again, but I still just wasn't feeling the same energy as I was before. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to make gaming videos on YouTube revolving around Minecraft. Everybody wanted I mean, that. Even videos that I record in real life had to have some form of Minecraft in it. So yeah. over the last two, three weeks, I've been posting Minecraft videos on my YouTube channel because I found it fun. It's the type of content that I've always wanted to make. And I'm happy with it. A lot of people might think it's weird Facts. that I'm posting these videos going from comedy to video games, but I'm happy with it. That's literally me, bro. We are in the same boat, literally right now. Holy shit. Except that I made a new YouTube channel and I, I didn't really advertise it as much. So most of my um, subscribers on my YouTube channel came from YouTube. So they're here for the gaming. So, yeah, I didn't want any of these, you know, motherfuckers that wanted comedy and shit. I'm like, you know, yeah. It also fuck with the algorithm too. It's like if you genuinely want to watch my content and shit, then you know subscribe. But you know if you're not here for it, then you know you can follow the other channel. You know, give them a choice and shit. I'm making videos that I appreciate and that I enjoy making. So to answer your question, how has life been after going viral? Uh, it's been so so. You know, ups and downs. The only goal that I wasn't able to achieve from all of this was I've always wanted one of those YouTube subscriber buttons. I always thought those were cool. Ever since I was younger, I've always wanted one of those. Yeah. Now I'm kind of like meh with it, you know? So since it's the end of the video and you're still here, can you please hit that subscribe button? I will. So all you gotta do is take three seconds of your day and hit subscribe down below. It took me like please two. Do, please, please do that. And yeah, like I said, going viral online, it's just a bunch of people asking you for pictures and, um... Being asked to do the thug shake a lot. Yeah, that's all there really is to it. All right, yes. man, please subscribe and like it. Really oh my gosh. Cool. I've never been asked to like do the gritty. The, the gritty. Yes, they, they they say gritty instead of gritty. Um, Thank God, though. Yeah, Um, I, I agree with everything in this video. Uh, I'm pretty much in the same boat as them, literally. Like 100%. This is literally me right now. And <laughs> this happens to like a lot of TikTokers and shit. Um. You know, they get viral, like, overnight, like, oh my god, oh, you're so cool, you know, whatever, like, uh, millions of views and shit. And, you know, there's a steady going, steady going for like, a couple months and shit, you know, maybe, like, a year. And after that year or so, year or two, then it just goes, like, gradually, and then it goes, boop, and then it stays here. Never goes back up again. I mean, unless you, you know, I have so I, I know some people who went back up and got, like, millions uh millions of uh, followers after that shit surprising i'm like oh shit what the fuck did you do bro what the hell happened tell me but um yeah no this is um it's like the life cycle pretty much of a i, I guess like influencer low-key i don't know maybe maybe like um you go up and then you go down and then once you because I, I think like you, you learn like you know from having all those views and shit and then now, now you know what you want to do and what you want to, you understand the algo and shit. It, yeah, maybe that, that maybe that's why bro had like a several mil million when he came back up. He, he was in the same boat as me, same amount of followers, you know, and then same fucking shadow ban somewhat, you know, he got suspended two couple times. Anyways, yeah, I feel him. I watch his shit though. What is it? Gaming? Yeah. Gaming, reactions, commentary, yeah, all that fucking shit. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he has um, pretty much the same shit as me, low-key. Except for that, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh, yeah, he seems pretty cool. I fucks with it, I fucks with the video. Do the thug shit, yeah. <laughs> Do the gwitty! Gormup is realizing that sometimes people are laughing at you and not with you. Yeah. But he knew that, though. You should do the thug shake for the 100k special. Get that play button, you got this. Hey, for me, the play button is, um, that's pretty cool. I just don't want it, I, I don't want to get it with shorts, you know? I don't, I don't want, like, to get 100k from shorts subscribers. Like, that That doesn't seem like the pure YouTube way to do it, right? It, it just feels like a bunch of TikTok niggas just fucking subscribe. That's why I'm saying with, like, TikTok, I don't feel like, you know, r you know, like, real people. Low-key, because they don't show your shit to people all the time, too. Same with Schwartz. I think he makes good content just off of his thumbnails too. His thumbnails look fire. Do what makes you happy, man. Didn't expect bro to have such a cool personality. Hidden gem. Very humble and honest. Bro, it's really nice to hear your perspective. It's motherfucking real as fuck. I hope you're feeling well, man. Yeah, I hope bro, I hope he does make it um on YouTube. Especially. 
Follow this man, bro. Follow this man. Started a black man and took his shoes. Customized my AR like a Black Ops 2. Just scammed a white kid out of some Gorilla Glue. I don't want to fuck this bitch. She smell like poo-poo.